Today I'm going to fix a problem with the Nerf bar on my Jeep Gladiator. Well, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. I've had this nagging little problem that I need to fix on the, on the Nerf bar on the Jeep Gladiator here. And what it is, it involves this. Now what this is, this is a replacement cap that was sent to me by NFAB. I contacted them because I noticed a problem uh, on the Nerf bar. And let me show you what that is. Let's zoom you in a little bit. You can see right there, something just doesn't look right. I mean, what it is, is when they put this cap inside, it looks to me like they beat this thing in, which no doubt is how they do it, probably with a, hopefully a rubber mallet. And they put it in too far, and it actually cut the little lip around the edge here. You can see this little lip here. They actually cut right through it um, with the metal on the uh, step bar itself. And then now you have this hanging down here. It doesn't look right. It's pushed in on the top, so it's just not right. And, uh, and I don't like it. So what I want to do, and this is what the interesting part is going to be, is pull out this uh, existing ruined cap, and it's in there. You know, it's wedged in there via these little ridges they have. You can see right here. That's what, in essence, holds it in. Uh, but that makes it very difficult to get out. So what I was thinking is I'm going to drill a hole through the center of it because it's useless anyway at this point. And then I'm going to put a screw in it and see if I can't get some leverage on it then to pull it out. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work or not. My guess is the screw itself will probably pull right out, but we're going to see. All right, like I said, we're just going to drill right in the center of it. That was pretty easy. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a... I'll put the screw in there. Go ahead and drive this in. Barely enough room to get the drill in here. All right. Now, I'm going to grab uh, probably a pair of pliers and see if I can't just wedge this thing out of there. All right, let's see if we can just, like I said, kind of wedge it out of there on itself. And you can see the screw is pulling through. So I'm guessing that's probably not going to work. No, the screw just pulled right out, so that's not going to do it. So now, I'm going to see if I can't cut this a little bit right down here with just a knife and then put the pliers in there and pull it out. Let's just cut a hole. This actually will give me a spot to cut, I guess. I didn't think getting this thing out was going to be easy and it's proving not to be. And of course, I don't want to damage the Nerf bar itself, so that's another concern. Yeah, that's not working real well either. All right. I think we're going to have to go for total destruction, which isn't a bad thing. Don't get me wrong. I don't mind total destruction. <clears throat> Success. So here is the bad plug. You can see we've got that out. And here's that ripped off part. Hollow in the middle, that makes it easy to cut. So now, all we should have to do 
supposedly, is slide the new one in. There we go. Now I'm hoping to be able to do this by hand so that I don't uh, do the same thing that the installer did. There. That's all it took. Um, now obviously the installer uh, is not going to use their hand. I mean you could imagine if you did I don't know, 500 of these in a day or a couple hundred or whatever production is for these that if you were beating on them with your hand all day, um, probably would get uh, quite sore. It would be a problem. So I understand why they don't do it the way I did, but I think the problem is, is just uh, quality. The quality of work that whoever the installers are that are doing this need to be cognizant that they can't get on there and just beat the crap out of it because it's going to ruin it. Um, and I, I had called Infab, of course, that's how I got the replacement cap. And they told me this is a common problem. So I'm like, if this is a common problem, why aren't we training our people um, to not do whatever it is that they're doing or come up with another process to be able to put these on so that it doesn't happen? It's such a common problem that they were out um, when I called them of... Uh, of caps to be able to put in. What I got are, is actually a cap that the guy sent me um, that was removed from a, an existing uh, infab step. So uh, that's how much of a big deal it is, at least for infab um, and having problems with these. So one thing to be aware of if you pick up this or really any other step that has this kind of a plug in it, um, just to be aware that uh, you probably, I'd be surprised if you didn't have one, there are four, one on each corner, so in the, or on each end, so on each end, front to back, on both sides, and I'd be surprised if you get one of these and, uh, and don't have some kind of a problem because of uh, how common it seems to be, I don't know, but anyway, that's the fix, pretty simple to do, um, some people I know would have sent it back because of that that's crazy. It's just not worth the hassle. I mean, rightly so, sure, but it's not worth the hassle to me to have to send the whole thing back for something like that. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've ever had this happen on your steps, irregardless of whether they're in fabs or not. I'd be curious to know. Also, shameless plug, if you haven't and you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive, all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma. And don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.